Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing some more maintenance on the trick. Um, so on the last trip up to the boat I was doing a lot of deck work and as part of that I removed the windows and unfortunately they're in a bit of a sorry state so we are going to be uh, having to replace them. Uh, so to that end that's what we're going to look at today is new windows for hat trick. So these are the old windows, this is the one that unfortunately broke in the process of removing it. Um, Quite a few of the other ones have got some sort of various cracks. This one's pretty bad. It's got a lot of cracks on it. Uh, but even the ones that aren't are a little bit scratched and scuffed up and generally not very nice. So uh, I don't really want to put these sort of horrible old ones back on. Um, so to that end, I have procured myself uh, a new pack of some polycarbonate. Uh, this is five millimeter tinted gray polycarbonate. Uh, this was actually quite hard to come by. Um, one of those things where I spent a long time on the internet searching and searching for exactly the right thing. Uh, this older stuff is six millimeter and that's kind of what I wanted to get to replace it, but I just couldn't for the life of me find any six millimeter, uh, tinted gray egg polycarbonate. Um, there was an option to get some eight mil, um, which I ummed and ahed about. I didn't really necessarily want to go that thick on it. Um, obviously it would be stronger and better, but um, the uh, I, I wasn't particularly sold on the idea and it was almost twice the price. Um, this stuff came out at about, um, about 30 quid a sheet. This has got a plastic cover on it. It's not this gray, obviously you will be able to see through it once it's done. Uh, yeah, it came out about 30 quid a sheet, um, whereas the eight mil was around 60 pound a sheet. Um, and I just didn't really want to spend that much. Um, so I may end up regretting that at some point, but it is polycarbonate, not acrylic, so it should be pretty tough. Um, uh, yeah, so the main problem though is that I've now got to cut this uh, to the same shape as this one, and I only have one shot at this. Uh, I've got four pieces to replace the four windows, um, and we're heading up to the boat uh, in a few days' time, and I really need to get these back on uh, when I go back up there. So hopefully we're not going to screw this up. To do the cutting, uh, I've opted for using a circular saw blade on my circular saw. Um, this is a 82, 185 mil blade. Um, from what I can see, the, a sort of finer tooth is better for cutting polycarbonate. Got to say, I'm a little bit worried. Um, so what I'm probably going to do uh, before I cut into it too much is we're going to cover it up. I'm going to basically, it's already got this plastic cover on, but I am going to masking tape over the top of it to give it some extra protection. Uh, and then we'll probably just try a little test cut on one of the corners where I don't need to worry about it because uh, it'll be on one of these angle corners so it won't be a bit I'm going to end up using just to make sure it's not going to do any damage to it. So first things first, let's get the uh, get it marked up um, and then we'll head outside and do some cutting because it is a nice sunny day today. Okay, so we got them all marked up. Um, went pretty well, I think. I've got them sort of, I've gone over with the masking tape to give them a bit of extra protection. Uh, so now I've just got to fit the blade uh, and then we'll head outside and uh, see if we can cut these without ruining them.
Okay, so back in the kitchen and we have successfully more or less cut these um, and it went pretty well. Uh, I've made a couple of little boo-boos. There is a slight sort of nick there where this blade sort of jumped backwards. Uh, it's, it's annoying, but it isn't the end of the world. It's not going to cause any issues. Uh, and then there was also, um, I'm not really sure what happened with this one, but there was a little bit of a... Uh, uh, jump again and it's put a little bit of a crack in the just a very corner it doesn't really feel like it's all the way through I think it's just on one side so uh, you know all in all I'm pretty happy with how that's gone uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them with the plastic on um, for now because I don't really want to have to do it but I'm going to just peel off one just because I'm too curious and I, I really do want to see what one looks like so we're just going to peel off one of these edges and just see what it ends up looking like without any of the plastic on Unfortunately, this stuff is double-sided UV protected, so um, I don't need to worry about which way around it goes. It's good. Uh, so that's without with one side missing. Okay, that's just on there. I'm like, what the hell's that marks on the inside of the plastic? Uh, let's see if we can get this off. So this is the one where the corner's kind of a little bit crap. Kind of helps to see. Looks like, and... Yeah, I think, yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's a little bit lighter than the other stuff, but I'm probably, I, might not be a, I don't think it's a million miles off, to be fair. It might even be exactly the same stuff, to be honest. Um, this one's just a bit less scratched up, but, yeah, they've come up pretty nice. Uh, like I say, apart from this one little crack on the corner here, but, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not too worried about that. Right, okay, so next job is to start the drilling. Uh, so I'm going to have to retape this one, uh, certainly around the edges, so I can get it. And now I need to start sort of drilling in all these holes. Um, the shape wise, they've come out pretty well. The main issue is I've got to get these holes in the right place so they match up with the holes on the boat. So I don't have to end up having to re drill holes on the boat and fill holes and all that annoyance. So, right, next job is um, start marking and drilling the holes. Right, so that's all of the holes drilled, cut out, and I think that's gone pretty well. Um, like I say, a couple of issues with the cutting, but I was kind of umming and eye between using the jigsaw, which would get me less straight cuts, but probably cleaner, uh, and the circular saw, which would get me straighter cuts, but potentially had the risk of uh, 
making a couple of nicks like I have done, but yeah, it's gone pretty well. They're all drilled out. Hopefully they all line up. I did as good a job as I could making sure I drilled the same holes as the other one. So now it's off up to Scotland and we can uh, fit them to the boat. Okay, so I've got a nice day. It's time to uh, get the windows back in. I've got the masking tape wallpaper covers off. I'm uh, just gonna give it a good clean up and then we'll uh, yeah, get the new windows installed. Okay, last job to do with the windows is to refit the surrounds, which are these things here. Um, but before I do that, I have something I want to do, which is to install some new lighting into the tops of these. And the idea I've had is uh, basically take this stuff, which I have uh, managed to find, which is actually a part of a shower. Um, it's a little plastic dome thing, which hopefully you can sort of see. And I'm going to basically install it uh, along the top of here. Uh, and then I'm going to install some LED strip lighting underneath it and hopefully that'll make a nice bit of effect where it sort of casts a glow onto the roof. However, to do that I've got to cut the top out of this uh, and then somehow figure out a way to attach this to that. And to be honest, I haven't quite done that yet so uh, it's going to be a bit of a figure out as I go. Got a new lighting installed, and yeah, it's working pretty well, I think. Um, in fact, having this bead here has made it quite a nice way for it to work, and it's all multicolored, so I can change it. And so we can have different colored lighting for nighttime, uh, blue lighting, green lighting. And disco lighting. <laughs> and that's why I don't record after drinking. But I think you'll agree that these windows have come out really nice, and given the other work done on the deck, it's made a real nice addition to them, and it was certainly necessary as I didn't want to put those old ones on there. 
On the screen now, you should be seeing sort of rough costs of doing this job uh, for all the various parts and bits and bobs. Uh, all in all, it went pretty well, I think, uh, and so certainly glad that we did it. So that's going to do it for today's episode. So I want to thank you for stopping by. As always, if you enjoyed it, then please make sure you subscribe and like and all that. And we'll see you in the next episode.